What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and well, today I just wanted to briefly talk about Robot Grandizer. So, there's an upcoming game of that franchise, I have been keeping an eye on it, and they just released a new gameplay trailer, and I have to say, it surprised me. My expectations for this game is, it's not that it's gonna be bad or anything, but for the context of price the developer and the publisher i'm not expecting the game to be like something triple a or overly grandiose so the game is being published by a company called microids and is published by a company known as android android as a developer as far as i could find only has one game which is fallback but that's pretty much it that's not to say that indie developers or smaller developers can create something amazing but when it comes to a franchise like this history with mecha games and of course knowing like what other games a developer has done to have an idea of like what this game could be or how this game is gonna end up can give you an idea and help you out but with this case i had no expectations because i'm like well this could be good this could be bad this could just be something that is slapped with the name of UFO robot grandizer and it's just okay-ish or it's just blandish but after looking at the gameplay trailer i'm a bit more excited for the game and my expectations are like well this could actually be fun looking at the trailer like the combat looks a lot more fluid than what i expected it doesn't seem that it's gonna be it seems it's gonna be more fluid doesn't seem that you're gonna feel like a block it's like that's one of the biggest things with mecha nailing the feeling depending on obviously what the mecha is you know you have bipedals you have gundams you have wanzers you have armor cores like there's so many different types of mechas and each kind of like when you play the game you have an expectation of like how they're gonna move so obviously with you for robot grandizer i'm not expecting it to be a extremely fast-paced game but i'm also not expecting you know to be clunky i wanted it to be fluid and well a lot of the combat looks that way at the same time some of the movement and some of the moves just gives me a vibe of that era of mecha where like they would be shouting out their moves and you just see like a flash of like daisuke where he just cuts in when he's about to do a move or he just shouts out his move and you just see it let them father Dizer punch double harken hand beam I'm like, okay, I can see it. I can see it. They're nailing the style. They're nailing the era. So I just got me very excited. So this looks pretty good. Obviously, it's only 1 minute and 45 seconds. But for me right now, I'm sold. The game is only $39.99. So it's not a full price game. So, so far for $39.99. And it's looking quite alright. It's looking like they could potentially nail the feeling and... This could actually end up being a fun mecha game. I'm in disbelief. We'll have to see once I get my hands on the final game. Right now, after this trailer, I'm very hopeful for what this game can be. Now, this game is coming out pretty soon. It's supposed to come out November 14th. It's going to come out for the PS5, Xbox Series, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. They are planning a Switch version. However, the Switch version is going to come out next year. Which I think is fine. I think you're going to be able to nail the Switch version. But I'm very excited for this. Now, I've seen some questions, which is we, in the trailer, we're able to see that the game is English dub. So, getting tired, saucer beast. Let's finish this. Hand beam! Screw punch! Anti-gravity storm! seems there's a bit confusion on like the Japanese dub and even myself haven't been specifically able to find about it because some people are confused if like some websites list this as it's gonna be it's gonna have full Japanese dub but for example on Steam it's just listed that there's gonna be subtitles not full audio. I have also heard people saying that they're gonna add it later on the free but Again, I personal, I can't find confirmation of that. So for now, um, if you're a fan of the Japanese stuff, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's going to be added later on. But, I mean, at least 
you can play the game and like I said, it looks like it's gonna be fun. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I feel they're nailing it down. And well, now it's a matter of trying it and seeing if it feels fun. It looks like it's gonna be a fun game. I am hoping this ends up good. I want to see other games like this. And, and if Andro does a good job, I would love them to tackle other Mecha franchises, especially from that era. But yeah, guys, not much after this. Um, just wanted to do a small comment about that. Really surprised and really excited for UFO Robot the Grandizer now. As always, so it's not just about me. What are your thoughts, guys? This has been Oblivious Gamer. Hope you'll have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.